Welcome back. So let's now add two mini messages and see how the design is going to look like. Suppose that the chatbot sent me many messages, so I'm going to just paste the messages here, many, many messages, so that the messages are more than the container can show and see if there will be a scroll or not. Let's also copy some messages from this, from my messages, and paste them. So as you can see, many, many messages. And after I add all of these messages, let's now save and go back to the browser and see how this is going to look like. So as you can see, after I refresh, there are too many messages sent from the chatbot and from me as well. But where are my messages? They are inside the container, but I can scroll. As you can see on the right side, there is a bar here where I can scroll and see my messages or any messages that the chatbot will, will be sending me later. So this is the importance of having a scroll uh, here on the right side. But if we remove, let's remove the, uh, the class, the overflow auto. If I remove it and refresh, as you can see now, there will be, these messages will be displayed outside and the design is terrible. And uh, if there are many messages, other messages, they will not be displayed because they are because the uh, screen can't hold uh, all of these messages. So this is the importance of, of using this uh, overflow auto class. And of course, we need to remove all of these messages. They are no longer necessary. I was just showing you the importance of using this class. And I'm going to remove also all of these messages. Only leave one message from, uh, from the chatbot and a message that I uh, sent.